Welcome to a tutorial on Bitsy 8. In this video, we're going to show an extended example of working with the concepts that we know that concern dialogue when we interact with sprites. We've previously seen how we can add sprites to a room, the subsections of a story or game within Bitsy, and by working over here, we can pop out the dialogue tool, and we can create different dialogues, page breaks, sequence lists, cycle list, and shuffle lists. We've also seen how we can use all of them or none of them as we create different interactions. So for this example, I'm going to call this having conversations. And this is going to be our conversation room. I'm not going to change too much of the avatar and tile and really not too much of sprites. We're going to work mostly with the dialogue tool. However, before we do anything else, I'm going to come over here to tile and turn on wall because I want these tiles to be walls over here to sprite and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this sprite and call it cat2 and place it over here. So we have two sprites, we have cat and cat2 and then both of which we're going to work with their dialogue. So let's start with cat1 which is the one that's down here um, at 812. So this says I'm a cat which it shows right over here as well and I'm going to add a new dialogue, come over to page break, add dialogue, dialogue. Cats are forever hungry, so I'm a cat. Let's put a period at the end of that sentence. I'm hungry. And now let's move over here to cat two. Same thing, pop this out. Notice I'm at cat two dialogue. Now, alternatively, instead of coming over to the paint tool, coming over to sprite, notice that this dialogue tool has the same options that we've seen in the paint tool, in the room tool, and in the colors tool. So each dialogue right here is also things I can select. So cat dialogue right here, or go to the next. Notice I have T, which is built in, key, or cat two. So I'm going to currently look at cat two dialogue. So what should Cat2 say? Well, what I want Cat2 to say is I want it to provide something a little more interesting than Cat1. So over here in Cat2, I'm coming down to lists, come down here to shuffle, and have it make a decision about things. It's going to say something random to us. It's going to say maybe I'm hungry, using the song of its people, there, meow, meow. or maybe... I'm happy, and then again, clicking shuffle list, add option, or maybe I'm sad. Right here, little tilde, and I'm happy. Okay, well, we've got I'm hungry, I'm happy, or I'm sad. Now I'm going to add dialogue page break, come down here, add dialogue, dialogue, I'm in a room. So one of these three randomly, I'm hungry, I'm happy, I'm sad. Come down here, I'm in a room. And then let's engage a new list of shuffle. I want to look out the window. I want to play. Again, clicking this, coming down here, add option. I want to fight. Okay, well, Cat 2 is much more complex than Cat 1, but let's go ahead and play this. So we have having conversations, and we have two cats. So let's come down here and interact with Cat 1. Cat 1 says, I'm a cat, followed by, I'm hungry. Okay. Well, what about Cat 2? How are you feeling right now? I'm sad. I'm in a room. I want to play. Now notice the dialogue, I'm in a room and I want to play, ran together. So let's go ahead and stop over here. We'll scroll down. Right? So I'm in a room and I want to play. Now the reason why these ran together is because there wasn't a page break in between them. So let's add a page break. 
So coming down here, dialog, page break. Now let's do something a little strange. Let's move this up. Now notice it moved up here. Now notice I'm now using these two arrows up and down. So now I've added a page break after I'm in a room and a page break and then into shuffle list. So if we ever get ourselves in a situation where we actually want to add a brand new thing, which I did on purpose there so we could see it, then we can add it and then move it up and down in this list, again, moving from top to bottom. So now if we go back talking to Cat 2, I'm sad. I'm in a room. I want to play. Okay, now let's go back to Cat 1. I'm a cat. I'm hungry. So having conversations, this extended example, shows how we can start to use all of these different concepts we've covered working with the dialogue tool. We can create a new dialogue. We can use page break to break up dialogue into different on-screen boxes. We can use the shuffle list to create random orders of items, create a sequence link, or potentially create a cycle link. But we didn't really use shuffle or, or, or I'm sorry, sequence or cycle in this particular example and using shuffle more. But notice that just using these things in connection with other things, using dialogue, page break, and shuffle creates somewhat of an interesting conversation, or at least as far as an interesting conversation go, can go with a non-player character in a game or story. But not too complicated than what we've seen so far. Moving through what we want to create the interaction for, the particular sprite, if we want shifting between cat and cat two, using the dialogue tool to then shape that dialogue using dialogue page break. And in this case, the shuffle list. Although of course we have the sequence list and the cycle list as well as options to choose from as we work with Bitsy Gate. Not a complicated example, but an important one. Again, pointing towards how we can use the dialogue tool with the concepts that we know, working with interactions for sprites within rooms within Bitsy 8. Thanks for watching.